Buenas tardes. Good afternoon. I bring you greetings from Miami Dade College in sunny 74 degrees. <laughs> Miami. What about that? By now, we all know that Opportunity Nation main purpose is to ensure that all Americans have the opportunity to enjoy progress and to prosper. So to prove it today, Opportunity Nation has provided me with a microphone with an accent. Isn't it cool? <laughs> As I was getting ready to come to Washington for this meeting, my assistant asked me, why did you go to Opportunity Nation? And my response was very simple and very easy. I come here because I cannot think of any better way to get inspired, uh, to meet uh, people who are change agents from all over the country, who come together because they are passionate about opening the door of opportunity very wide. And every time I come here, not only I get so enthusiastic about the future, but I also get to meet people and understand and learn about pathways that really help me personally do a better job at my institution. So for that, and thank you, uh, I thank you all for, for doing that. You know, this space today is full of individuals who represent the leadership of both the business sector, foundation sector, the nonprofits, education, government, but very especially people, young people, young leaders, who not only understand the challenges facing our nation today, but are deeply committed and understand the power of opportunity. Yes, we're all here because we understand and we believe in the collective ability of us, the people of this country, to change things and to make sure that deserving Americans have uh, the opportunity to enjoy the power of opportunity. At Miami-Dade College, we believe that opportunity changes everything. It's part of our motto. And it is through this belief that Miami-Dade College has become the largest and most diverse institution of higher education in the nation, serving about 100, <laughs> serving about 165,000 students. We also graduate the largest number of people of color of any college or university in America, and we're very proud of that. <laughs> As you will know, providing equal access and equal opportunity for all Americans, it's a defining issue of our time. I'm passionate about this. It's very personal with me, because you see, I came to this country as a young refugee at age 16 with no money, no English, and no prospects. But the door of opportunity was open to me, and the rest, the, the rest is history. Colleges and universities, I believe very strongly, must become the dream factories where every American can harness his and her full potential. Have no doubt that colleges and universities are the equalizers of the 21st century. And we need to make sure that those doors are extremely open to every American. The time when Americans could go into factories and offices and doing manual work with little education and be able to achieve the American dream through hard work, buy a home and a car and support their children, those days are gone. As was said before, more than two thirds of all the new jobs created in America today require a post-secondary credential. And we must ensure that everyone is not put into the cycle of poverty by not having that opportunity. It makes no sense in America today to have five million uh, young adults who are totally disconnected from work as well as school, while at the same time there are millions of jobs that cannot be filled because employers cannot find the people with the skills that are necessary. We need a sense of urgency in America today. We live in the greatest country on earth, but if we are to remain so, 
we must all work together and demand from our elected leaders bipartisan actions that will position America to compete efficiently and effectively in the 21st century knowledge economy. Now it is my distinct pleasure and a privilege and an honor to introduce someone who is a true example of opportunity. Someone who, has, who works tirelessly to provide all Americans the opportunity to enjoy the fruits of progress. I'm referring to your friend and my friend, the, Secretary, the U.S. Secretary of Labor, Tom Perez. Hey. Hola, man. Hey, man. <laughs>